Hello and welcome to Ridge's second video blog. This is actually the third attempt at um, making this one. Every time beforehand I have been kind of distracted by something. So, um, I got home from Newcastle today, as you can see by the change of decoration behind me. Um, this is where I'm actually living with my girlfriend and her family. Give a shout out to them who are probably going to be the first ones to watch this. I um, don't know how many people are out there you know, watching, or you know, how many people are actually listening, but what the hell, let's keep it going. Um, what to talk about today? Um, I didn't actually get much done on the exercise, you know, preparing for the army side of things, but um, yeah, I did the, uh, the sit-up test. I wanted to see how many sit-ups I could do, and lo and behold, I've um, actually got to the 30 mark, which is you know, in your three-second slots. Um, but I was only able to get out about eight push-ups, which is a bit annoying, so I'm going to have to try and drop some weight and get some strength back up. But, um, yeah. On... I don't know, completely other sides and haven't done much for the exercise. I um, was talking to some really nice ladies today on the train, and um, one of them pointed out something to me. My generation. <coughs> Excuse me. My generation, we, um, we are much of the readers nowadays, you know. We spend most of our time behind the computer and kind of weird while you know, recording this. But, you know. We spend so much time behind computers and stuff, I don't know, a few people that actually sit down and read a good book every so often. So, yeah, I'm sure that doesn't really class as exercise, but um, you exercise your mind. So I was just wondering, yeah, anyone out there read a good book or, you know, you'll post that up. Um, yeah. Called up me father the other day and I had a good chat with him and told him about this whole thing going and I don't know whether or not he's actually had a look at it yet, but um if you have, how you doing dad? Um tomorrow I actually plan on waking up pretty early and getting down there going for a run because I don't actually have a treadmill here, but I figure go for a run in the fresh morning air. And um yeah. Saw my girlfriend again today and got to see her back in her arms again, so, that was nice, um, but yeah, I guess I gotta work on some strength, training, lose a bit more weight, and see how we go from there, but, um, I'm actually trying out a new video software to do this on, and, um, you yeah, know, for anyone out there, could you tell me if it, it's better, is it worse, and what about the sound, because I want to make yeah, although I am doing exercise and stuff, I want to make sure that while I'm recording this, it's easy for people to hear, see. So, yeah. Um, I was talking to this old gentleman today, and he started going on about how we as people, um, we, we take away what he called God's creation. I don't, I'm not a believer, so... People say that's my downfall, but whatever. Um, but, you know, he was saying that we as the people, we take God's creation and we try and replicate it and transform it and stuff. But isn't that what, you know, isn't that progress? You know, he was going on saying we can't recreate a seed, but we've cloned a lamb, you know, when when does science become magic? You know, when when can all of a sudden we start choosing what we look like, you know, what plant species are around us, you know, could we change a palm tree so it could live in the desert? But um got pretty off topic here. Um But yeah, it got me thinking, you know, is there a limit to what people can do? You know, are we bound by bound by laws that we decide to break anyway, you know, morals, 
yeah, most people have them. <clears throat> but for the sake of progress, some people throw them aside. You know? Human testing. Animal testing. So, there's a whole big uproar about that, you know. Is it right to treat animals like that? I don't think so. You know? Sure, they say they're bred for that purpose, but... No, animals were bred for a reason. You know, the mice eat stuff. Guinea pigs poop everywhere. You know, they're food for other animals in the wild. But we've caged them and tested on them and the whole reason of just trying to make our lives better. You know, when does that get right? You know, when... <clears throat> when does what we want... What we... Yeah, what we want overshadow what should be done. But, um... Yeah, that's just a little thing for you. Should we overstep our moral boundaries just for the sake of mankind? Well, you know, whatever. Well, this is it for today's one, so I'll catch you all tomorrow and I'll tell you how the run went, I guess.